that come from? You know, that idea of don't slip, the pressure. What do, do you think that came from in you? Being signed by David Foster at 16 years old. I mean, like, you know, <laughs> I didn't, you know, it's like, it's, it's impossible not to, you know, it's like, it's like the Pope saying to like, you know, you know, a kid like, hey, I want you to be my, my chief cardinal, you know, uh, and you just go, uh, okay. <laughs> I bless you, I guess. <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, and just kind of... Actual Pope voice, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, secretly. He's being overdubbed, you know. Yeah, that's right. Um, no, I just, yeah, I was, I was just, you know, I didn't get to go, have really the college experience of, of messing up and learning from that. Um, I, I not, only, not only was I put into a position where from a performance aspect I had to be, you know, try to be as perfect as possible, but the kind of voice that I had and the kind of genre and image that I was in mm -hmm. was also very much... Um, based on being kind of like perfect guy, you know, it was it was not your rock. It was not um, the kind of thing where you're, you're goofing off in music videos and everybody just knows that you know yeah. if you miss a note or you're you're caught drinking or whatever, like ah, that's just part of his image. Yeah. My image has always been kind of like on a pedestal a little bit since I was a kid. Since I was a, I was a kid, seventeen. That's I'm, a tough I'm place a kid. to be, right? It was. It, it's been yeah. It, it was tough, but. Uh, not that that's not me, it's just, you know, I... <laughs> I mean, the guy is pristine. <laughs> I bless you. Um, uh, yeah, but, uh, but, you know, but it's a lot of pressure, you know, and so, um, so I, I spend a lot of time just trying to figure out kind of how to, how to be me as a singer and how to be me as a person, and I think that I'm finally at a place where I'm able to balance those two worlds. You know, it's funny trying to place what your record is because you're not, I mean, you've been lumped in with the popper group, but popper doesn't sound right, it sounds too disposable, and I wonder... Kind of dismissive, yeah. Yeah, and if for you, is this part, part of the big transition, the control over your career and all that, is that about trying to find a way to be authentic? <laughs> well, I mean, I, authenticity, you know... Sometimes I'll read a review of stuff I've done in the past or whatever, and, and sometimes to a reviewer, just the fact that it didn't sound like it was done in your garage means that it can't possibly have authenticity. Too pretty, you know, whatever. And, and sometimes there's a misconception that if you're doing something that's classical or traditional feeling, it must not be real or it must not be authentic. Um, so I've always kind of dismissed those kind of feelings. Um, it's always felt authentic, but, but I think that uh, for me, all I can do to keep it authentic to me is when my gut tells me I need to go a certain place to really try as educated as I can to go in that place. And then if I always do that, it'll, it'll feel real and feel right to me.